Good evening everyone, my name is Tarun Pal Gandhi and today's story in the bedtime story series is Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. So I will read out this story for you, stay tuned. Uh, one day, a friendly bus driver had to leave his bus for a while to run an errand. As he was about to leave, he turned to the children standing nearby and said, Hey, could you do me a favor? Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. No matter what he says, don't let him. I will be back soon. The children nodded, promising to keep an eye on the bus. As soon as the bus driver was out of sight, a little blue pigeon with big round eyes and a playful grin appeared. The pigeon looked around, saw the empty bus and looked very excited. Hey guys, the pigeon said, waddling over to the children, I have a great idea. How about I drive the bus? The children shook their heads strongly, no, the bus driver told us not to let you drive the bus. The pigeon frowned for a moment, then brightened up, oh, come on, I will be careful. I will just drive it around the block. What is the harm in that? He pled it. Again, the children shook their heads. No pigeon, we can't let you drive the bus. The pigeon sighed in a big way and said, I will be your best friend. I will give you five bucks. I will even let you drive the bus. But the children remained firm. No pigeon. The answer is still no. The pigeon tried everything he could think of. He begged. He pleaded. He whined. He threw a little tantrum, but nothing worked. The children were sure to follow the bus driver's rules. Finally, the pigeon sat down, looking sad. Oh, shocks. I never get to do anything fun, he met, muttered. But just as he was about to give up, the bus driver returned. Great job, kids. I knew I could count on you, the bus driver said with a smile. The pigeon slumped his shoulders and sighed the last time. Well, it was worth a try, he muttered as he waddled away. The children waved goodbye to the pigeon and watched as the bus driver climbed back into his seat. Thank you for keeping an eye on the bus, he said. And remember, sometimes it is right to say no, even if someone tries to convince you otherwise. The children nodded, feeling proud of themselves for being responsible and not letting the pigeon fool them. As the bus drove away, the incident gave them confidence and the kids would always remember to trust their elders and never go with strangers. So this was today's story. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And I will come up with another story tomorrow. Till then, goodbye, good night, and radhe radhe.